Yo. <laughs> Yo. Hey. JT Seuss just subscribed to your boy. G, quit playing with me, bro. Wow, bro. That's crazy. Like, hey, just let me have this moment, man. I'm a fan of the channel, obviously. Shout out to JC Seuss. What a fan. What a fan. Yeah, but um, if y'all don't follow the channel already, I'll put the link in the description. Shout out to JT, man. I appreciate you. That's what's up. Hey, shout out to the ship mates. What's going on, y'all? This is your man Marcus A. Brown, a.k.a. Red Pill Sailor. Coming at you with another Navy depth review. I got 17 days left in a delayed entry program, so I've just been studying and preparing as much as possible before I go to RTC for Navy boot camp. We studying straight out of the start, guy, and today I'm going over the 11 general orders of a century with the urban translations, because I know y'all want them urban translations. This is not to be taken literally. I'm not by any means saying that this is a direct translation of the information that we read in the star guide once we get through boot camp and through a school and get out in the fleet we'll really have a better understanding of this information in theory and in practice i'm just sharing with y'all a little ratchet tidbits that i use to help me memorize what's on paper because when you show up to boot camp if you've been doing your studying ahead of time you're gonna be ahead of the curve by knowing this book by the time you get the 11 general orders of a century let's start with breaking that down first off we got 11 of them so we know that much wow no 11 general orders what's a general order that's like a basic instruction so 11 basic instructions or general orders of a century now what's a century century a century is a soldier stationed to keep guard or to control access to a place so 11 general orders of a century aka 11 basic instructions of a soldier that's stationed to keep guard or to control access to a place urban translation 11 things you should already know you're supposed to be doing when you show up to work that's all that means that would be great general order number one to take charge of this post and all government property in view the way i envision it this my post bro this is my post. I'll run this. I'm going to take charge of this post and all government property in view. I'm the man up in this piece. I run shit. You just live here. General order number two, to walk my post in a military manner, keeping always on the alert, observing everything that takes place within sight or hearing. What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? This is basically building on general order number one, which is to take charge of this post. And now I'm saying ain't no lacking while I'm on this post. So I'm walking my post in a military manner. I ain't just like walking around like I'm on the block or nothing like that. I ain't staring at the stars. I'm walking my post in a military manner, keeping always on the alert, or in Chicago we would say, ain't no lacking. Observing everything that takes place within sight or hearing. <laughs> General order number three, to report all violations of orders I am instructed to enforce. So I don't know what's going on in the streets nowadays, but when I was growing up, especially around people that was in gangs, whenever somebody did something that was out of pocket, you would say that was out of order or this person is in violation. So when I think of general order number three, I think of somebody that's in violation, somebody that broke the code somewhere. And so now by me and you having to keep order in this post, we have to report that violation of the orders that we are instructed to enforce. So general order number three, report all violations of orders I am instructed to enforce. General order number four, to repeat all calls from posts more distant from the guardhouse than my own. Urban translation, I'm gonna give y'all a scenario this time. And this did not happen, all right? I'm just making this up. Now, let's just say the guardhouse is the block, all right? What block? I don't know. It's the block where everybody at. So the guardhouse is the block where everybody at, right? Me and you on 73rd. All right, your man's is getting whooped on 71st right now. He eating feet, he eating hands, like it ain't looking good for him. And he ain't got no phone, G, so he can't, he can't even call, right? The phone him on 71st, he see your man's getting beat up. He ain't got no phone, the phone him ain't got no phone, so he know we over here, he run to 73rd. He, hey bro, your man's getting beat up, G. So he like, what you wanna do? And you like, man, we gotta go get gang. So now y'all go to the block or the guard house. Y'all gonna get gang and run back to 71st and try to do what y'all do. <laughs> that is a horrible example, but <laughs> what just happened? The phone just came and relayed some information to us, right? We on 73rd and we had to go back to the guard house and let them know what's going down. So what did we just do? We repeated a call that was more distant from the block, from the guard house than our own. This is also what goes down when y'all don't pay y'all phone bill. So make sure y'all pay y'all phone bill. You can't wipe out call everywhere, you feel me? General order number five, to quit my post only when properly relieved. How many of y'all worked a nine to five before? Let's say it's almost five o'clock, it's 4.30, and no, 4.15, and everybody at the job just want to stop working. You know, they want to take a 45 minute lunch break, 45 minute bathroom break. They got to call a kid or something like that. No, you quit your post only when properly relieved. Somebody is 
coming to take over the rest of that shift or y'all just done for the day. That's general order number five, to quit my post only when properly relieved. General order number six is the longest one, so I know some people may be intimidated by it, but let's just get through this. To receive, obey, and pass on to the sentry who relieves me all orders from the commanding officer, command duty officer, officer of the deck, and officers and petty officers of the watch only. It's long, I know, but it ain't that hard. Basically, just like one and two, general order number six is building off of five to quit my post only when properly relieved. Only now we're saying we're gonna receive, obey, and pass on to bro that's finna relieve me all orders from all of them. The commanding officer, the command duty officer, the officer of the deck, and officers and petty officers of the watch only. Who is all of them? I don't even know, bro. We gonna find out when we get there. But just remember, you're receiving, obeying, and passing on to the century relieving you the orders from all them people. Commanding officer, command duty officer, officer of the deck, and officers and petty officers of the watch only. And I'm sorry I gotta do this, y'all, but I'm gonna have to finish this video another time. They just called me into work, and it's overtime, so I'm not finna turn it down. But I'm definitely finna finish the 11 general orders as soon as I get back, and I'll put the whole video together, and y'all will just watch all this at one time. The next day. I Right, y'all so we back my bad if the lighting is different you know different day different time i had to work i had to eat i had to sleep all that good stuff so get it back to the program general order number seven to talk to no one except in the line of duty this one should be pretty self-explanatory but urban translation i'm at work basically why is you talking to me fam you ain't game I'm talking to no one except in the line of duty. This is not the time to be IG living with your baby mama, baby daddy, friends, family, things like that. It's not the time to be socializing with like miscellaneous people that want to talk to you and ask you questions. General order number eight, to give the alarm in case of fire or disorder. Again, that's pretty self-explanatory. One of the ways that I remember this is eight sounds like A to me. In almost any situation, if you hear somebody say, hey, like everybody gonna turn their head to see what's going on. I'm assuming there's a proper military procedure to giving an alarm, but in almost any other situation, hey, that's giving an alarm. So eight, to give the alarm in case of fire or disorder. General order number nine, to call the officer of the deck in any case not covered by instructions. Urban translation, call a manager. If you've ever worked a job where they got you on the floor or the deck as we would call it now and something comes up and you've never experienced this situation or you don't have any instructions for this particular uh, incident or whatever's going on, you just call a manager. Call my manager, bro, because I don't know what y'all want me to do right now. That's all that's saying. General order number 10, to salute all officers in all colors and standards not cased. I don't have an urban translation for that. Just salute all officers in all colors, which would be the national flag, the American flag, and standards not case. Now, at first I didn't know what standards meant. I just knew I needed to memorize that. But I want to insert a small clip from another YouTube video that I came across. Salute to Chief Khan TV. What is a standard? A standard is like a sword or a cutlass. You'll see, you know, you're able to salute with it. When you get to boot camp, you know, you, you're going to be able to see that. But I'll put a link to his video in the description below, so make sure y'all check that out too. Hey, we at the last one, y'all. Last but not least, general order number 11, to be especially watchful at night and during the time for challenging, to challenge all persons on or near my post and to allow no one to pass without proper authority. Now, it's two things that help me memorize this, and this is why I say it can be helpful to use any type of life experiences or memory aids that you can think of that'll help you retain this type of information. So the first thing is it starts off to be especially watchful at night. Me, I used to work a lot of night shift jobs, many of which I had to report for duty at 11 o'clock at night or 2300. So general order number 11, to be especially watchful at night. That's kind of what I was doing at work. I showed up at 11 p.m and I was especially watchful at night. So that's how I remembered that first part. And the second part, which is basically the rest of it, and during the time for challenging, to challenge all persons on or near my post and to allow no one to pass without proper authority, that reminds me of the Tyler. So in Freemasonry, when you wanna open a lodge and throughout the entire time that that lodge is open, that's pretty much the job of the Tyler. This whole general order pretty much describes the job of the Tyler, to be especially watchful at night and during the time of challenging, to challenge all persons on or near my post and to allow no one to pass without proper authority so y'all can google it you'll see what i'm talking about but anyway that's about it y'all that's the 11 general orders of a century thanks for watching i hope this has helped somebody let me know if y'all got any other memory aids that's similar to what i did 
uh, that helps y'all memorize 11 general orders of a century or any other information that we need to remember for any branch. You know, I like I like knowing that type of stuff. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section and I'll holler at y'all. Peace. General order number nine, to talk to no one. That ain't it. Seven, boy, what you is you on? Call the officer of the deck and any whole sun going down on me and everything, man. It's, it's 1600 daylight savings, right? Hello? Hey, baby. Did you fall asleep on me? No, I'm I'm sitting in the room talking to myself so people could watch it later. Oh. I'm making a video. Man, man. Just spent a few hundred up in Whole Foods. They say I'm a Whole Food. They ain't got a whole clue. Really, though, I could spend a stack if I want to. Really, though, I could just fast if I want to. Really, though, I'm just sitting back watching old fools worry about everything except what they supposed to. I don't really talk much. Only on Pro Tools. I ain't got time to be arguing with these woke dudes. Still broke, still talking about hope. Still buying new cars, still buying clothes. I did the same.